three, two, one. Okay, so officially welcome at Magic. As a warm up, we're gonna do a little bit of cha-cha actions, which is very um, in, uh, important to warm up the hip and the knee as well, because in cha-cha it's very important that we move our hips and we move our knees. Well, we do it in any dance, but here it's very important, very important, very important that we do it very sharp and we shift the weight very sharply, okay? So it has to be very fast, very compact, uh, not compared to the rumba, where in rumba, you know, we're a little bit more soft, okay? Cha-cha is more staccato, okay? So, uh, put the feet together, and what we're gonna do as a warm-up, we're gonna place our arms here, so that's also a good warm-up for the hands, so you create uh, your personal space in front of you, yeah? So make sure that the arms are not wide open and they're not hanging, but we place it nicely in front of ourselves. Okay? All right, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna shift the weight between foot to foot with a, we call it like a scissor action, okay? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is the step so far. I'm sure that 99.9% .9 of the students already saw this action, but this is just a warm up, and I'll cover a couple details. So what is very important, as you can see from the front, that when I switch my leg, when I switch my, uh, my weight, I don't shift the weight with the knee going diagonal, right? Because we know that in Latin, our feet, they have to be apart, and the heel and the ankle is still together. Yeah, they're still together. So what is very important that we don't do this, right? Because you see, there is a gap in between my knee, right? So we don't want that. What we do, we roll uh, our weight over the ball of the foot. Right? So what it's gonna make, it's gonna make that our knee will rotate slightly inside, okay? So now you cannot see the gap in between my knees, right? And when I shift, I try to keep my thighs and my knee uh, together when I'm doing the passing action, okay? So as you can see, there is no gap when I shift. Yeah, that's very important, okay? Otherwise, this is not gonna be very graceful, right? So one more time with the same thing. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and again, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? Another detail, when you switch, make sure that you don't end up twisting our foot, okay? So know this one. When you do this, make sure that you don't end up twisting the heel away, okay? So we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, okay? So another detail will be very important that when we do that, as I mentioned the hip, that we rotate our hip backwards, okay? So instead of just doing this, we need to rotate the hip. Now, why is it very important to keep the arms in front of us? Because you see that I'm not rotating my upper body. So I don't go with the hip, yeah? I try to isolate. Okay, so the body is not rotating, the hip is rotating. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, and the last detail before we move on to another step when you shift the weight, make sure that you also lower the heel and you pick up the heel, lift the heel off the floor on the other foot. Okay, so you go one, two, three, four. Okay without going up and down. So no pumping, but try to keep it flat. Cha-cha is very flat. So when we do that, you see, I don't rise and fall. I try to stay in the same position and not doing a bounce action, okay? So this, was a, this is a good warm up for the cha-cha also to warm up the knee and the hip, as I said before. Now, going to the steps, which is a side together side, or we call it chasse, right? Because we do a side step, then we collect, and then we do another step sideways. So how it would look, again, 99.9% .9 of the students already know this step. It looks like this. So we go cha, cha, one. And the same thing is to the other side, cha, cha, one. Okay, here we go. Cha, cha, one. And we go cha, cha, one. Okay, so these are the steps. Now, what is very important when we do the side chasse, we have actually a couple chasses. Today I'm not gonna cover all of them, but at least the basic, and we'll see if we'll have time also for the 
uh, chasse forward or a lock step. So when we go sideways, what is very important? That we don't end up doing a huge step, okay? It's very important because the music is very fast. So the bigger the step, the more work, okay? Or it can be actually, it can happen that will be off the beat. So smaller step the first one and we go cha-cha, one. The, the last step, the one, will be the biggest step so far. Now the same thing to the other side. We go cha-cha, one. Okay, one more time. Cha-cha, one. We collect and we go cha-cha, one. Okay. Now, you might hear from the different instructors to count cha-cha-cha, cha-cha-one, or four and one. I just wanna make clear that all these counts are equal. They're all good. The only difference is, and why I prefer the four and one, because that's the most precise one, right? So if you say do a step on four, you know exactly that's four. Instead of saying cha, and you don't know which cha-cha-cha is that one, right? So I prefer to count four and one. Okay, so let's do one more time. I'm gonna turn around and we go to the right. So we go four and one. And we collect and we go four and one. Yeah, so we do small together big. Cha cha one. Or cha cha cha. Or four and one. Okay? Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna talk about rotating the foot out. Yeah? So what we do. We're going to collect the foot by rotating the hip backwards and now we do a forward step but try to make sure that when you take a step in cha-cha forward that you don't want to go step inside you don't want to also go completely straight but you want to try to bring the heel to the same track as your standing leg was right so I go forward you see how my foot is twisted out nicely in the front now let me turn around and we go two three and what I do here I do a check position so I go connect the knee and the thighs and I replace the weight back so I shift the weight the weight is in between and then I replace the weight so it's two three now since the music is very fast um, I wouldn't really suggest to go all the way forward because you'll have a hard time to bring the weight back on time and on beat okay so let's say if you do cha-cha one and you do a check position, which is this one, make sure that you lock the knee, you close the knee, the thighs, yeah, and you, you stand very strongly, and then you recover the weight back to the standing leg, okay? So one more time, let me go from the side. And cha-cha one, two, three, cha-cha one, and now what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a back step, which is a back rock, so we go, two, three, okay? Cha, cha, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three. Now, when we do a back step in cha, cha, what is very important is when you take a step, make sure that you don't end up doing just the steps, but that you rotate the hip with a step, okay? So you rotate, in this case, the right side of the hip back. So from the side, from the back, it looks like this. Okay, we go two, three, and cha cha one. Okay, now the last thing before we move on to the next step is actually the footwork. Okay, so if you look very closely to the foot, when we collect the foot on the fore end, make sure that you end up closing uh, just the ball of the foot. So there is no shifting all the way, yeah, but it's flat ball of the foot and now as you can see I don't lower my heel towards the floor okay I'll be losing time okay with the fast music so what I do basically I push away from the ball of the foot to the side again all right one more time we go cha cha one yeah now let's go to the left we go side together and now just the ball of the foot the heel is off the floor and you push away Okay, we collect and we go back rock, replace, flat, together, but just ball of the foot and push away and then we collect and we go forward the check position. Okay, now let's move to the next step. The next step will be what we call New York 
or crossover breaks in American style. What is very important that very often I see dancers dancing it and not twisting out the foot. Okay, so how it would look, let's say, what is the step? So we start again with the side chasse, cha cha one or four and one, and now we open this way, right? So we go cha cha one, two, three, four and one, two, three. Okay, so these are the steps. Now, as I said, the very common mistake, if we don't end up twisting our foot to the direction where I'm opening, that would look like something like this. You see, now my feet are completely twisted inside, which is not very graceful and nice. So what we need to do, once you ride to a certain, once you uh, shift the weight over the certain leg, make sure that you end up twisting on that foot. You know the dance, you know? Come on, let's twist again. Okay, so that's what we need to do. All right, so you need to twist over the foot to the direction where you want to open. So in this case, we collect the foot and we twist this way, right? So now I'm facing a new direction and now I can nicely go forward and do the check position and replace the weight back, okay? But what if I want to do again a chassis sideways and I'm basically facing that direction where I'm supposed to go, I need to turn back again to the previous direction. Okay, and now I can go and dance the side chasse. So how it looks from the back, we, we go to the right, so we go four and one, and now my opening side will be that way, so what I need to do, I twist away to the right, and I'm facing that direction, that wall, okay? So now I go check, replace, right? But now I wanna go chasse to that direction, so I turn, twist back and I go cha cha one or four and one, and now I twist over my left foot to the left, and I collect my right foot. Okay, I hope I'm still in the camera. So now we go check, replace, and twist back. Okay, so if we sum it up a little bit faster, it will look like this. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, okay? Now, a very good exercise how to master this because the music will be really fast. Just to give you an example of an exercise, make sure that you go, you, you bring a weight over a certain leg and you turn that way, okay? Now you can extend the foot again uh, apart from each other, right? And now again, always 90 degree to a new direction. Doesn't matter if it's left or right. Again, put the feet apart, and again, rotate to the right. And extend the leg, and again, to the right. So you see now, I arrive to the same position. Yeah, and we can do the same thing just to the left, right? So if I turn 90 degrees to the left, I extend the foot. 90 degrees, extend. So you see how nicely it works when I end up twisting over my foot. This is a very good exercise, not just for cha-cha, but also for other dances, yeah? I kind of enjoy myself doing that while I'm talking. So, whatever dance, we can use it later on, okay? Samba, cha-cha, rumba, doesn't matter, okay? Now, uh, I just wanna uh, tell an example, because what we do in normal life, if you wanna walk to a certain direction, we, I don't know if you noticed, but unconsciously, we shift the weight to the opposite leg, and we go the opposite direction. So let's say you do something and you wanna go that way, you don't, go, you don't shift the weight to this leg and then you go here, right? Because you're basically blocking yourself. But what you do, unconsciously you shift the weight over this leg and you rotate out and then you walk this way. Now in dancing, we need to learn how to shift the weight to a certain leg, rotate to the same direction, and then go forward, okay? So that twisting out is very important, okay? So uh, let's cover the New Yorker itself. That was just the footwork. So what we do with the arms. So if you go sideways, we do again the side chasse. So we go four and one. And now when I twist out, make sure that you have already the arm prepared. And now when you do a forward step, you're gonna extend the arm, but just from the elbow. Okay, so you lifted the elbow already. And now I just wanna extend the hand from the elbow. We recover and we twist back. And now we go four and one, 
we open up, the elbow is already ready, so you see my hand is here, and then I do a step forward, and I extend the arm, okay? Now, very common mistake what I see that dancers are trying to open the New Yorker from the shoulder, okay? So it's never gonna be as fast as you open from the elbow and sharp, because you cannot really stop the movement if you have a very strong swinging action. And plus, you can very easily injure your shoulder, right? Because if you want to be fast, you need to swing the arm too hard, yeah? So be careful with that and make sure that you first prepare the elbow, you twist out, and now once you do the check position, that's when you open the arm all the way out from the elbow, yeah? Because this part can be shot, right? And you can also stop it, yeah? That's a priority in Chacha that we do always a sharp and fast movement compared to rumba where we actually more sophisticated, I would say, yeah? Like there's more actions in the rumba, right? Chacha is a little bit more choppy, okay? So let's cover that one more time, side to side. Are you still with me? Good. Okay, so to the right, to the left, to the left, to the right, and Cha cha one and we go two three four and one twist out two three cha cha one two three four and one two three four and one okay very good I think you're doing very good and if you keep practicing it, that will be even much better. Or who knows me, I used to say much gooder, okay? So if you practice it, it's gonna be much, much gooder. So the next step before we finish, and I'm just gonna cover it uh, relatively fast because we are running out of time slowly, is the lock step itself. As I said, chasse forward can be also lock step forward or backward. So how we do that, let's start with the right foot forward. So we're gonna go step forward, and instead of closing, we do a Latin cross here. But again, as I already mentioned before, when we did the side chasse, we need to just maintain the ball, I mean, we need to maintain the heel off the floor, yes? Yeah? So we don't lower the heel, but we keep pushing just from the ball of the foot. And forward, okay? So one more time, we go four and one. We go check position, two, three, and now when we do the back step, back lock, we go ball of the foot, flat the front cross, and now the full flat foot on the floor. And now we do a back lock. So we go two, three, and again, flat, ball of the foot, when we lock, flat, and check, replace, ball of the foot, flat. You see, I didn't lower the ball of the foot. Because then what it does, I want you to understand why it's very important. Because when you do that, you see my knee becomes straight. And we don't want that. Okay, so we go four, and, and now I just want to straighten the knee when I finish the last step. One, on one, yeah? And I go two, three, four, and, and when I'm pushing away, that's when I'm extending my knee, one. Okay, so let me face the camera, and we're going to do it together. So hold my hand. I hope everybody in front of the screens uh, extended the arm. Good. And so we go forward. Okay, I'm gonna go against the camera and you go against your camera. And we're gonna meet in the middle. And one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, cha cha, one, two, three, ball of the foot. I saw that. And two, don't place it flat. One, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, cha-cha, lift the arm a little bit higher, three, yes, chin up, good, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, very good, very good, much better, yeah, just be careful with that uh, foot placement, so it's always the ball of the foot when we push, okay, otherwise it was really good. Now, let's combine all the steps, what we learned today, or basically we covered today. Okay, so let's, let's do it together. We're gonna start with the scissor action, or 
we can call it a chasse in place. So it's a stationary chasse if we count in a four and one rhythm or cha-cha rhythm. Okay, so we go like this. We go two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, cha-cha, one, two, three, cha-cha, one. Okay, now we cover the New Yorker. So let's go sideways with the side chasse. And four and ball of the foot, one. We collect the foot and we twist. Okay? And now we can go forward. Two, three, we twist back. Four and one. Swivel out. Two, three, swivel back. Four and one. Swivel out. Two, three, four, and stop. And now we're gonna do a back rock. Two, three, and we can do a forward lock step. Four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three, four and one, two, three. Okay? And as a continuous lock step, we can keep locking. So that will be like a bonus for today. So if you want to keep locking, basically we never stop crossing our foot. Okay? And we can end up nice in a circle. And then we can walk back to the camera. Good? Okay. So, I think that's all for today, guys. I hope I didn't overwhelm you with the uh, information, especially the beginners. And I hope you liked it. Feel free to comment, which I'm going to always check after the lesson. Uh, and subscribe, share. That's very important. Make sure that you really share our videos, live streams, everything. Okay, I want to see share, 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 share. Sure, 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 sure. All the time. Okay? Take care. Have a wonderful day. And thank you for joining. Bye bye.